Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, which is ne, raised to the power p minus 2 equals to 90. This follows what we have a raised to the power m minus n. The same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. That this here, I write this as 9 raised to the power p over 9 squared then equals to 90 on this side. And also, here we have 9 raised to the power p over 9 square, and then 9 that's 81 equals to arise as 90 over 1. The next step here we cross multiply 9 raised to the power p is 1, same thing as 9 raised to the power p, then equals to 90 times 81 here. The next step we take the log on both sides, and this here we have log. 9 raised to the power p equals to log 90 times 81 here. At this here we apply the power of logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power a, this same thing as a log m. At this here, this becomes p log 9 equals to log 90 times 81. Then here yeah, we divide both sides by log 9. Divide this side by log 9. Also divide this side by log 9. Here we have log 9 cancelled each other. At this p equals to log 90 times 81 over log 9. And from here, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this is the same thing as log a plus log b. Now this here we have b equals to log 90 plus log 81 over log 9. Then Next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have p equals to log 90 over log 9 plus log 81 over log 9, which implies here yeah, 81 can be written as 9 times 9, that's 9 squared. As this, we have p equals to log 90 over log 9 plus log 9 square over log 9. Here we apply the power of logarithm 2 comes in. That is this. We have p equals to log 90 over log 9 plus 2 log 9 over log 9. Here we have log 9 cancel each other. If this become p equals to log 90 over log 9 plus 2. Then also here we can write 90 as 9 times 10, which implies we have p equals to log 9 times 10 over log 9 plus 2. And this also follows the law of logarithm. And we have p equals to log 9 plus log 10 over log 9 plus 2. That is, we separate this into two fractions. We have p equals to log 9 over log 9 plus log 10 over log 9 plus 2. Then, next step here, we have log 9 cancel each other, 1 left here, then p equals to 1 plus 2, that's 3, then plus log 10 over log 9. Then, 
Next step here, we can write 10 as 2 times 5. That is, what we have becomes p equals to 3 plus log 2 times 5 over log 9. That is, here, this also follows the law of log. We have p equals to 3 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 9. Then we separate this into two fractions. This become p equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 9 plus log 5 over log 9. And also, yeah, 9 can be expressed as 3 times 3, that's 3 squared. And what we have becomes p equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 3 squared plus log 5 over log 3 squared. And we apply the power of log 2 comes here and also here. And this will help p equals to 3 plus log 2 over 2 log 3 plus log 5 over 2 log 3. Oops, same thing as p equals to 3 plus 1 over 2 times log 2 over log 3 plus also 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 3. Then from here we apply change of base. When we have log a over log b. This same thing as log a to base b. At this here we have p equals to 3 plus 1 over 2 log 2 base 3 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 3. That is from here. We bring this together as one fraction. This 3 over 1, and we have p equals to the SCM here, that's 2. And here we have 6 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3. That is the value of p here. We have p equals to 6 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of p here, which is p equals to 6 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. Then, what we have here becomes 9 raised to power 6 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 then minus 2 here is it equals to 90 on this side then here we bring this part together as one this 2 over 1 so this we have 9 raised to power yes here we have plus 2 here we have 6 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 4 here is it equals to 90 on this side at this here 6 minus 4 that's 2 we have 9 raised to power 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 is it equals to 90 on this side and also here 9 can be written as 3 squared which is raised to power 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 this is equals to 90 on this side and this power multiplies 2 here cancelled each other we have 3 raised to power 2 plus log 2 base 3 Plus log 5 base 3 
is it equals to 90 on this side? Now we apply the law of indices here. This becomes 3 square times 3 raised to power log 2 base 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3. Is it equals to 90 on this side? In 3 square, that's 9. Then times this follows. What we have a raised to power log b with a, which is equals to b. That is, here we have 2 and times 5. This is equals to 90 on this side. 2 times 5, 10. 10 times 9, that's 90. Equals to 90 from here. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that. P equals to 6 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video with a thumbs up with your comments. See you next class and bye for now.